last one for this um, activity here, multiplying and dividing integers. Remember we learned this triangle here. We learned how to use positive and negative numbers. So remember, we just talked about, well, first of all, if you're multiplying a positive times a positive, that's just like you've been doing since elementary, right? Two times three is six. But what we do now with the positives and negatives, remember we just use our triangle here. We have one positive and two negatives, and we cover up the two that we're using. So if we are multiplying a negative times a negative, I cover those up, and my answer is positive. If I'm dividing a negative by a negative, I cover these two up, and my answer is positive. If I'm multiplying a positive times a negative, I cover them up, my answer is negative. Okay, same exact thing with dividing. Negative divided by a positive, my answer is negative. Positive divided by negative, my answer is still negative. Negative divided by negative, my answer is positive. Okay, the hardest part about this is understanding when I read a word problem if I'm multiplying or dividing. Okay, so some of the problems that you're going to go through that will be part of your question here is are you multiplying or dividing because it gets really tricky. Okay, so you ever wonder, are you grouping? Are you trying to divide something into smaller groups? Or you, would it be solved with repeated addition and you're getting to bigger numbers, all right?